Oke. Okay. This time I will talk about the differences between the China and the Japan culture. There's a big differences between these two country. Although you know that uh, Japan and China has the same skin, has the same eyes, has the same race, but there's a big differences between these two countries. <coughs> One of them is Japan, uh, known as the land of culture. You will, you will find a lot of, uh, you will find a lot of culture in Japan. In every site, in every city that you visit, there's a lot of culture that you will uh, feel, you will found in in this in that place. And that is the difference between the China. China doesn't have uh, the same culture as the Japan. That every side of China, it doesn't uh, appearing their culture. Some of them, some of the city in China, there's only uh, appearing the modern, uh, the modern era, the modern, uh, uh, what is it, this, the modern style. You will find in China. <clears throat> there is the the first difference and the second. Japan known as the polite. The Japanese people is so polite. Even you don't speak in Japan, they will try to understand you. They will try to speak to you. If you if you have a uh, if you need them, they will try to speak to you. And one of my favorite uh, culture that Japan has, even. If we lost uh, umbrella or uh, a handbag, it's not very important for us to lose that uh, handbag. But if in Japan, if we lose that handbag, you will find it in front of your door or you will find it in the police uh, office it will not be lost it will not be gone uh, that is my favorite uh, culture that japan has <clears throat> and it's different with the china china is a bit of rough to live there because the chinese they have a rough behavior they had a uh, a slight a slight similar culture with indonesia if you lost if you lost your phone then it will be gone forever you will not know where the phone is you will not know where the where you lost it that is the differences the next is uh the japanese people also uh, known as the geni- as the genius people they are known as uh, people from japan is is really really clever because they has a high uh, iq average iq is, uh, it's kind of uh, different with with the china they have a bad behavior they have a bad uh uh what is it they have a bad side of their own education and the last is we'll talk about the festival that japan has and the uh, uh, china the china has in japan festival called Mas- matsuri in every season that japan has uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter, they has then their own matsuri to celebrate. Their point to celebrate their matsuri is to uh, to great to be grateful about what they had, to be close to their god, communicate with their god, to being close in uh, in in their 
in uh, in their there's a lot there's really a lot of matsuri in in one season the average uh, the average matsuri that we, that you will get it's between 4 until 5 uh, matsuri you will you will really you will really find a lot of uh, the good thing in the matsuri you will get food celebration the the celebration of the matsuri itself and the last you will get the uh, the fireworks that from the uh, the prayer they will they will light the the fireworks in the night uh, for the closing of the matsuri uh, it's different with the china china doesn't have the same a festival as the Japan as the Japan uh, the, Jap- the the Chinese they only celebrate uh, their festival based on the calendar f- uh, of their uh, of their own country of course they will uh, celebrate their uh, uh, their culture at uh, the Thanksgiving, the uh, the Buddhist, uh, the Buddhist uh, festival, but you will not find the same. Uh, you will not. You will not find the same uh, festival as the Japan has. That you will find almost every day you will find almost every day if you go to japan okay i think that's all from me thank you